Bonjour YouTube, welcome back to our channel. Today we take you to Mont. On y va. Located in the rich plains of Brie, north of Saint-Marc department, Mont is a city rich in history. Capital of the Gaulish tribe of the Melds, stronghold of Protestantism before it was taken over by Bossuet. So Gallo Romans built this protective wall to protect themselves from the barbaric attacks in the 4th century. Mo was set up at the crossroads of two ancient routes to Paris and Troyes, which gave it certain richness. In 956, the counties of Mo and Troyes were merged, creating the county of Champagne. By 1284, the marriage of Jean de Navarre, heiress of Conti, with King Philippe le Bel, allowed Mo to be attached to the Kingdom of France. This used to be an important pit stop between the south and the north of the country, leading all the way to England. In October 1421, the King of England, Henry V, laid siege to Mo. The city wouldn't surrender until March 10, 1422. Only by 1436 did Mo become French again. In 1521, Jacques Lefebvre de Tape, a close friend of Bishop Guillaume Brissonnet, founded the Cenacle of Meaux, which brought together many humanist scholars. They worked for the reform of the church and came closer to the nascent reform, which earned them accusations of heresy. The Cenacle was dissolved in 1525. The new religion, however, spread widely. After persecutions, Protestants obtained freedom of worship in 1562. On August 25th, 1577, the day after St. Bartholomew, 600 Protestants were massacred. Mo joined the ultra-Catholic party of the League. It finally surrendered to Henry IV in 1593, who made a solemn entry there on January 1st, 1594. Nicknamed the Eagle of Mo, Jacques Benin Bossuet took office as bishop in 1681. Former tutor to the Dauphin, son of Louis XIV, he is well known for his sermons and funeral operations, notably that of the Duchess of Orléans. He also wrote many books on religion. He died in 1704. The museum features collections of paintings, which begin in the 16th century all the way to the 20th century. Some beautiful pieces of Louis XV and Louis XVI style furniture from the former collection of the Bishop of Meaux are present in the museum as well. On February 15, 1814, it was Napoleon who slept in the city before going to face the Sixth Coalition which had invaded northeastern France. Fast forward to 20th century and on September 4 to 12, 1914, the first Battle of Marne took place. The rapid German breakthrough from Belgium was halted near Meaux, a strategic point on the road to Paris. So as you can imagine, Meaux is not really a, a metropolitan kind of big town, you know, it's, it's a t smaller city. But it's got a really beautiful cathedral in the middle. Uh, around it you've got everything. You've got the Palais Episcopal, which is a museum. You've also got a couple of gardens. And at the same time you have uh, shopping streets. And one of the reasons why we come to Mo is because Mo is famous for its cheese. So let's go and find it. And speaking of cheese, we were supposed to go to a fromagerie, but my fault is, ah, I'm so annoyed actually, because on their website it said that it was in Mo, but then um, I didn't check the exact street in advance, and by the time we arrived here, our appointment was at 2.30, we arrived here at 2.10, I thought it was in the Centre Ville, like in the, nearby the tourism office, in reality it's like super far, 
and um, so we didn't make it so unfortunately we're not gonna go to the cheese making place we're gonna come back we're gonna come back I want to come back because I want to see how it's made but today we're gonna try and find the cheese at least but yeah this is Anton's planning as usual you know I plan things sometimes they work oftentimes actually most of the time they work but today apparently that wasn't the case <laughs> sorry Thank you for the last tour, so let's check it. We finally found it. In all of my years in France, I've never seen an eclair of that size. That is absolutely insane. It is an insane amount. So it seems that this street is like the main shopping street. Also, I forgot to mention that. Um, Mou is the first city in Ile-de-France that got the label of the city of art and history. It's a beautiful place actually, I really like it. Sinan is enjoying. Yeah, it's nice. It's pretty small but it's cute. I'm it's sure we should come back in summer. Exactly. Yeah. I think it's gonna be really pretty in summer and it's really, it's not that far, so yeah, it's, it's nice. Not that far. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you would like to see more of this content, please don't forget to like, share and comment below. And this time we couldn't make it to Cheese Factory, but we promise we will make it next time. Until next week, au revoir.